All right, in this episode, I'm gonna be going over a very important uh, piece of all this, and that's if laws are created, a law that must be created or should be created um, is property should not be able to be rented out right so you should have to own property instead of renting it by renting it uh, or leasing it or anything like that it allows people to take advantage of other people because somebody who is renting a property is only doing it because either they own it completely or they're renting or leasing it and making a profit. So I know this is kind of like a big thing to, to grasp because it's a huge part of our current system that we, are, that we currently do, but it's a necessity in order to allow everyone to prosper properly. And it's, uh, there's a lot of little details that I could go over and everything, but the most important part of it is that what this is gonna allow is, you know, and it doesn't have to be, you don't have to make a law that says like, you immediately have to sell all your property because that's going to cause huge economic issues and conditions and stuff like that. So what you need to have is just like in the future, you are no longer able to rent out your property. So if you currently are renting a property or um, certain properties have certain um, different uh ways that they're listed so that they're not fully owned especially in like buildings and all that kind of stuff and you know there's all these other structures that are already in place but all you really have to do is make sure that the new uh, laws or rules that govern this don't allow people to rent their property and what that's going to create is there's going to be a lot of properties that are going to start going up for sale. And a lot of people will still not be able to necessarily afford these or banks and other places, they might not have the money, right? So unfortunately, what that's going to cause is these people that own lots of properties are going to, um, well, they'll be able to continue to rent their properties as long as they're renting it to the same person, right? Um, that can't that's not shouldn't be a drastic change however once uh, that person switches they cannot acquire a new tenant to live there or lease if it's like a um a company or something like that they can't just lease it uh to a new company right so all that stuff has to be owned by the person or the business that's there and that's gonna allow all these more stability it's going to allow more stability in the world and banks eventually will realize that we have all these properties up for sale this market's huge right and these people have been paying these rents anyways these people have been if somebody's paying nine hundred dollars worth of rent they can purchase a property and their mortgage is probably going to be like five hundred six hundred dollars right and obviously credit applies a lot to this stuff, but these people are people are living places no matter what. They're living places no matter what, and they're paying rent no matter what, right? Um, and maybe they have to go some, leave someplace because they missed a payment or go someplace else, but that will all work itself out, and people will get used to the new structure and everything like that. But they'll have value in their place now. They'll have a place that they can call their own, and it's what's necessary, right? Uh, because if you don't allow that, then you're still allowing, in a sense, um, you know, monarchies and people to own land and people to charge people for land, right? And land should never be taxed. Land should never be taxed. It, you should never be able to tax someone for living somewhere, right? 
the only attacks that should go in, like if you watch my previous episode, the only taxes should be uh, charitable taxes or, you know, um, if you're in, if you're working in a society, right? Those kind of things. If someone is staying in their property, staying at their property, uh, using their own water, using their own sewer system, using uh, their own food and all that kind of stuff, they should not have to pay someone to live. They shouldn't have to. Um, and, you know, that doesn't mean that people can go mess with their property in order to say, like, well, if, if we're not taxing them and they're not able to use our police system and all that kind of stuff, like, it's a community. We should all be working together to make a better world for each other. And if we're able to record everything, like in the first episode, then we're able to, if something were to come happen, where people would start to, you know, harass, steal, do all this kind of stuff, as long as it's all recorded, then it's fine. We'll, in the long run, right, then we'll be able to identify who these people are that are causing problems. These people are that need to be rehabilitated, to join back into society, or we can send these people to an area that they, you know, these people can go to an area that they think is better, um, that, that fits their, their beliefs better. So this episode I feel like is a lot shorter because there isn't much that needs to be said on this. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. There's a large portion of, every, of people everywhere that are either being taken advantage of um, or who are taking advantage of people. And it, it stems a lot from people not, and this you can look all through history, right? People not owning land. Land ownership is a huge part of prosperity. And it's, it's, nece it's necessary in order to achieve a great peace, right? People need to know that they own that land. People need to have that value in that land, right? And they, you should not be able to rent it because in theory, somebody could just purchase all the properties and then they can raise, if tax is raised, they'll just raise the price. It doesn't, it doesn't affect the landowner. It doesn't get affected by that. The people that are getting affected are the people that are renting and leasing these lands by taxing, by ruling, and all this kind of stuff. It's never The money's never going to come back to those people. The only way for people to get that prosperity is in order to make... You don't have to force... You shouldn't be forcing anyone to do anything, right? We always stay away from oppression and forcing people to do things. But you shouldn't allow people to be in that position because people own they can own multiple properties owning multiple properties isn't isn't a thing it's when you're using that as a source of income to allow and having other people stay there and pay you money and do all that kind of stuff because what that allows is that allows for a market where people won't build up enough credit they won't trust in themselves to make that decision to own the property and they'll just continue to rent and then these other people are going to start you're going to start to see that you know disparity in people but if someone is successful making money um very you know doing having making enough wealth for themselves where they can own or their family's history they've had acquired enough wealth right you can you can own land in one place and travel to another place and own land there too and you can enjoy those places right and the the thing is if people want to go and live there and do those things then they should go there live there and do those things and they should purchase the property right they shouldn't uh rent it out and rent to this people, rent to this people, because that's when you start to see people take advantage and start to create these these cities of instability where they can't, the only reason they're able to uh, 
like survive and uh, maintain that renter there is because that renter is not a constant person. That renter then each year switches out, right, with someone else, someone else, someone else, and it's just it's just creates this continuous issue, where as if people are owning the land and whatever it is, then they're able to create some sort of wealth for themselves. They're actually, they, they own something. There's a large part of uh, people everywhere that, that don't own anything, right? And I'm not talking about, you know, um, like nomadic people wandering from place to place or anything like that. Because if that's what you want to do, you know, and, and you can find areas to do that, and certain areas allow you to do that, there's, there shouldn't be anything stopping you from wanting to travel and to, to live a kind of life like that. But to, by allowing people to rent and lease items and property and all this stuff, you're creating a huge, huge disparity in, in individuals because people realize this that a lot of people think that it's better for them to rent and it's better for them to lease things instead of owning them which you know you can all have your own opinions about that and you can and think all that stuff but when it comes down to it somebody who owns something and doesn't have to pay for that thing and can be there comfortably, whatever they view as comfortable, can live there comfortably and call their own, right? They're going to be more relaxed. They're going to have something of their self. And they might not have to worry and rely on a constant, continuous income, right? They might be able to pay off and live their life, however long it may be, on that land, on that property, completely fine, without having to bother with the rest of society. And, and that's really, that's what freedom is, that's what, you know, um, that's what wealth is, is really having something for yourself that, that you're content with, that you're happy with and that's gonna you know not cause you to have to worry about you know well if I'm not doing this if I'm not making this if I'm not doing all this kind of stuff participating in this society then I'm going to be at a loss I'm not gonna have anything you know so it's you're you're creating this system of um of a continuous need for production, for work and all this stuff where it's not necessary. Like, and even in, you know, as time continues and all that stuff, there'll be better things and more things that come out where you won't even have to worry about, you know, growing things or labor and all that kind of stuff. There'll be systems in place and all this kind of stuff in place where as long as you have that property and as long as you have, you know, uh, water and certain things for that property that you can self-sustain yourself. And that's the, that's the ultimate goal, right? Because with all this, the ultimate goal is self-sustainability. If every single individual in our planet, on our planet, anywhere in existence, right? If every single individual can self-sustain themselves, right, or self-sustain their family, or self-sustain their nation, if you can create that self-sustaining environment, then that is what is going to cause an overall wealth, right, an overall comfort. You can still go and do whatever you want and all that kind of stuff, but if you eliminate expenses, if you eliminate all your expenses where you don't, you know, you produce your own electricity, you produce your own water, you produce your own uh, food, and all that kind of stuff. If you can self-sustain yourself, right, and 
have a place to put your waste and all that kind of stuff. If you can do it self-sustaining on yourself, uh, if a community can, a community can self-sustain that whole community, and uh, if a nation can self-sustain that whole nation, right, that should be the desired outcome. Because once we can do that, you know, and it's I'm not saying, you know, go back to, you know, anything we can with technology and all this kind of stuff it's going to increase our ability for self-sustaining it's going to make things easier right and it doesn't mean we can't communicate and, with each other and still live the same lives that we're living going out and you know going to certain places to get whatever things that you might not have created yourself right that's fine that stuff can and should exist you should be able to still participate in society as normal right but if you start eliminating your expenses that you can and be self-sustaining with your own property that's going to create wealth in its own and eliminating those expenses where some people are living paycheck to paycheck or just living you know barely making it through not being able to produce anything of their own right if you can self-sustain yourself where you don't have to don't have to worry about you know, oh, what what's this going to do? Then you can still work at wherever you're working, help out in the community however you're helping out. And there's just not that, that need for, I need this, I need this, right? And because of that, it's going to allow people the freedom to make choices better, right? So people who say, well, make the choices of, I can't lose my job. I can't lose this income, right? Because if I do that, then, you know, all this stuff, I'm not going to be able to do this, I'm not going to be able to do this, I'm not going to be able to do this. All those things that, that are burdening you won't be there, right? You'll be doing your, the same job that you like doing or whatnot, but you won't have to worry. You won't have to be like, oh, well, you know, what I I need to make sure that that you know i'm that that person that that company or whatever i can't offend them i can't say these things i can't do these things because if i do that then i'm putting myself in a bad position and if i'm in that bad position i might not be able to make money and we're really just kind of imprisoning ourselves um culturally everyone individually is is kind of imprisoning themselves when they have those burdens on them right you you may see different people in the world and you'd be like, how, how is that person so, like, comfortable? It seems like they haven't really, you know, achieved anything for themselves. Um, but, you know, they might just be well off for whatever reason. And they might not have those, those stressors and burdens, right? And that's not the only thing that causes stressors and burdens. Obviously, day-to-day -day things cause stressors and burdens. But this, if we're able to have our own property, every single person has their own property, and it shouldn't just be given to you, right? It's not, it shouldn't just be like, oh, well, here you go. Here's a property of your own. No, it should be the same structure that exists currently. All that needs to happen is you, you say, from here on out, no new rentals, no new leases will be allowed. Um, only home ownership is allowed. So you know, there'll still be that, that, you know, turbulent, I guess, time period where people will start to hold out, right? They'll say, okay, well, maybe if we hold out and we don't put our this property up for sale, you know, maybe they'll have to change change outcomes. But in the end, what will happen there is those people will, other people will say, well, I'm going to sell my property because I'm not going to hold out until everyone's already bought up their property. So people will, will sell their property as what fits their needs, right? And and then people who are able to buy will buy, and people who don't, it will lower the value, and then they'll be able to buy at that time, and then it'll continue to go, and then it'll fluctuate, and it'll even back out. So it'll all work out. It's what needs to happen. Um, it's important part of uh, making and achieving this uh, great peaceful world, right, that we want to all live in and want to all exist and be a part of forming and creating and all that stuff so uh the best thing is 
that you can do is to start to achieve those things, right? You can do it on an individual level. And once you once you do that and seek to be, you know, self-sustaining where you don't have to rely on uh, all the parts of society and you can be self-sustaining, then you'll realize how much of a, a comfort and how less of a burden you have for work and all that kind of stuff, right? So um, just set that as your goals, obviously, um, nations and communities and all that stuff should strive to do that as well and start implementing those laws that, that don't allow for people to um, rent or lease properties. And it's going to be a little bit of a change, definitely. There's definitely going to be a change where um, people are going to want to, you know, turn it down right off the bat. They're going to say no, that, you know, because some people will think, well, I'm going to lose money because I currently you know, rent out and lease these properties. You know, you're going to be like, well, there's going to be those questions of, um, well, what about the people that, you know, um, have to go somewhere else for work, school, or, you know, they live far away and they have to move in closer and all that kind of stuff. Like those, those small apartments and stuff that they were having to rent, now they're going to be able to purchase them. That's, that's the difference is instead of renting it, they're going to purchase it, right? And banks are going to get used to this system. That's, that's how it's going to be. So then that you'll just get used to, you know, purchasing a place somewhere. And then if it turns out that you have to leave or move or something like that, then you'll get used to selling your place and moving somewhere else. And the time period with that, you know, you'll get used to and all that kind of stuff. And Yes, it's not the, it's, it doesn't seem like it's um, the real quick, well, I can just rent a place and then not have to worry about it and, and put that burden on the person who's, who's renting it and doing all that kind of stuff, right? And, and it seems like an easier thing, just like it seems like it's easier to go to the store and buy something um, than to grow it yourself or to do all that kind of stuff. And those options should still be available, but you need to be able to self-sustain yourself. And that can only happen if you own property, if you you know, start to eliminate some of those other expenses that I mentioned previously, electricity, water, food, all that kind of stuff. And you're able to produce your own and, and do all that stuff, eliminate your expenses. That's what's gonna cause our prosperity in the world because we're still gonna have that, we're still gonna be having our jobs, we're still gonna be making money, we're still going to be having all these transactions and stuff like that. But you're going to, your wealth, your overall wealth is going to increase. And we're all going to get to a point sooner than we're currently existing where all of our money isn't going to, you know, um, other areas that they're currently going now. And the money is going to be in the individuals, which is going to be more self-sustaining as a nation, as, as a world. We're going to be more self-sustaining if we do things this way. It's going to just put things a lot more, you know, um, a lot more in the, in the wealth area and instead of in the um, necessity, right? So we're going to do things because we want to do them instead of doing things because we need to do them. And that's going to create a better world for us because now you're not working because you need to work. You're working because you want to work and that's going to create a better work environment it's going to create more desire in what you're doing and you're able and then with more wealth people are able to invest in different things that they want to do right so you're going to see you know instead of people doing this this thing well because i need to do it and they're you're also going to see a lot less you're going to see people helping other people right you're not going to have a, a salesperson who needs to make a sale because if they don't make that sale, they're not going to have income to support themselves or their family or whatever it may be. They're going to say, well, I want to help this person out because they're part of my community. They're a person just like me. And I would want them to treat me the same way that I want to be treated. And I'm going to help them out because I know I can get them a good you know, deal on this thing that they're looking for. And that's what's going to create this better world, right? So... I could keep going on it, um, but it just comes down to 
need to cut out renting and cut out leasing. As long as we, as long as we do that, the rest will follow, right? Um, we'll all we'll start seeing self-sustaining. Yeah, I mean, just by doing that, you're looking at you're looking at hundreds of dollars each month that people are going to be able to put in other areas, right? And that's everyone. <laughs> that's everyone. Um, obviously, you'll there's there's some people that uh, will. I mean, even those people that that are renting these places, that all that's going to be is, well, now instead of renting a place, I'm going to sell that place that I currently have, and then what's going to happen is they're going to have to sell that place. But that once they sell it, that wealth that they've accumulated so far is going to help them out, right? It's going to eliminate a lot of their debt, and then they're going to realize, okay, well. Yeah, it was different. Now I can't really, you know, do that as a career, but um, I can still, uh, you know, do other things. And they're going to realize those things that they can do. They're going to do them, and everything's going to be fine. I promise you. So that's the next episode. And uh, I have a couple other ideas for the next episodes. So those might be coming out uh, sooner, but there's no real time frame on these episodes. I'm just kind of doing it on what seems right. Because if you saw the first episode, you realize that this isn't. This is just what I feel needs to be done. What needs to be said, right? Um, I don't know if it's going to be impacting people currently in our world. I don't know if it's going to be in the clouds. Um, the the clouds. And eventually somebody will look this up, you know, like a hundred years from now and be like, oh, well, let's try this with our, with our society or something like that, right? I don't know how this is all going to play out. I'm just doing these videos, just producing these videos and putting them out there because this stuff, I believe, I have to believe that, that this is the things that are going to make our world, our existence um, better, so, just, uh, just, I guess, uh, keep watching, and, um, pass it along if you, uh, can, and just take, take what you can from these things, uh, I try and be as informative as I can, but I also try not to go like up and over anyone's head or anything like that um i just want it to be it and all this stuff is pretty simple so i want to just keep it pretty simple right it it's not changing everything it's just putting an understanding a combined understanding for everyone of what we're all trying to achieve what what world peace we want and how the world can and should look all right